Hey there YouTube, this is Mike Thaggy and in this video we will be solving this hacker rank problem which is between two sets. Uh, it is an easy problem under algorithm. So let's see what the problem says and get into writing the code for this problem. So the problem statement says that uh, you will be given two arrays of integer and asked to determine all integer that satisfy the following two conditions. The first condition is the element of first array are all factor of integer being considered and the second condition is the integer being considered is a factor of all elements of the second array which means that uh, uh, the element that we are considering is divisible by all first element all the element of uh, array of first elements then uh, the integer that we considered is a factor of all the element of second array that means that uh, the element is divisible by the first ele fir element of first array and all the elements of second array are divisible by the uh, the number that we consider so that's the simple logic so let's uh, get into writing the code and after that I will explain that what the code uh, what the code is doing and how the code works. So let's first change the theme to dark much better. Okay so first declare some variable first variable will be count let's take it zero and then second variable will be current factor. Uh, which will be equal to the last element of first array so a dot get and the element will be size minus one which is the last element and then take one variable as flag we will assigning value to the flag later but uh, let's declare it here okay so now what we have to do we have to check while current factor is less than equals to the first element of secondary b dot get zero this is the condition then what we have to do first uh, let's assign the value zero to the flag and now we have to uh, loop through the first list for int i equals to zero i less than a dot size and i plus plus and what we have to do we have to just check that uh, if the current factor uh, mode by a dot get i not equals to zero then we have to assign the value of flag to one and then we have to break out from the loop now if flag equals equals to 0 then what we have to do we have to just loop through the second list for int i equals to 0 i less than b dot size and simply increment the i by 1 now we have to check if the b dot get i mode by current factor not equals to zero we have to again assign the value one to the flag and simply break through out from the loop now we have checked uh, from for the both the list now what we have to do we have to just simply check if flag equals equals to zero then count plus plus and then simply we have to increment the current factor current factor plus plus so that's the end of while loop now we have to return the count so what i have done here i have just uh, uh, looped through the last element of first array and till the first element of uh, second list sorry not array it's a list so through the list uh, la first element of uh, last element of first list to the first element of second list then simply I check that if 
it satisfies the first condition then check for the second condition and then if it satisfies both the condition then I simply increment the count and then just uh, return the count after uh, completing the whole loop so that's the simple logic let's try to submit this okay okay sorry uh, I have to put here a dot size that's the case and somewhere so that's the simple program for this problem and the logic is quite simple we have to just uh, uh, check between the uh, last element of first array to the first element of uh, second array that how many factors are there and then we have to just simply count them and return the count and that's all for this video thanks for watching have a nice day